Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, you guys have a problem where a left or a right headlight doesn't work. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. In some cases, okay, you may need to use a special procedure to make the headlight work again. We will talk about that. Where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys. We're going to demonstrate on that generation Dodge Ram if your headlight left or right doesn't work. The first thing to do is check your bulb, always. Now, most of the times you have one bulb for low and high beams. Some will have double, but most of them will have a single and practically a motor will lift it up for high beams and lower it for low beams. Make sure you use the correct size of bulb. I've seen where bulbs look almost identical, but if it's a different part number it may not work. Another thing guys, you need to check a fuse. Now, we need to go ahead and open the hood. Here guys, what you need to check, okay? You need to go ahead, in front of the car battery, you will find the main engine fuse box. Press these two tabs at the same time, lift up, it will open. On the inside, you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse pour and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So, if a headlight doesn't work, now guys, here we need to check one fuse for exterior lightning. Please make sure you stand till the end, we want to give you one quick advice, that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. The fuse that you need to check is fuse number 10, very important fuse right here. Other things that can cause left or right headlight not to work. Not being, not uh, connecting the bulb with the wire correctly or check the wiring harness behind the headlight if it was removed, replaced or anything like that. There is a big seal that you need to push really hard to make sure that it clicks in place because it can come loose, then uh, it can accumulate moisture, humidity, dust and that can prevent it to work as well. Sometimes if the, bur the bulb burned or a fuse burned you may have a code stored in the body control module that will prevent the headlight from working again. It happened to us one time on a Dodge vehicle, so we had to use a scanner to clear the codes from the body control module and the headlight was working again with no problems. But those are some of the most common things we will check if left or right headlight doesn't work on Dodge Ram. 
So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.